Attention all units. We have a 1031 on the corner of Main Street and Arcadia Boulevard. There seems to be a situation at Cato's Antique Store. Any available units in the area, go investigate the situation. But watch out for trick-or-treaters. Sounds good. Uh, one, check one, two. Mike, check. Is that good? Yep. And action. I mean, it was a pretty standard night. It's a big night, it's Halloween. We had a group of guys prepared at the station. Well, they were prepared for, you know, kids. Shenanigans and pheromones and stuff. Yeah, it honestly wasn't the best night. You see, we were at Chris Kennedy's for the Halloween party. My friend and I never even went to the party. We just stayed at home and watched old horror movies and we like low-key pigged out on junk food. It was great. I mean, it was a pretty typical night for us because we don't really get that many trick-or-treaters where we live since we live above a store. Right, so me and the dude just got back from Chris's party. It was sick, right? Everyone was fucked up. Oh, can I can I say that? Yeah, like the party was kind of stupid. I mean, by the time we got there, everybody was already super shit-faced. Oh, and Jake, my boyfriend, we got into this huge fight. The movie ended around midnight, so we decided to go to that diner, Good Eats, because there's nothing really else open around midnight, except for Kato's. But I do remember seeing Kato's open towards the end of the night, and a few customers were coming in and out. Why is he appraising stuff that late at night? So yeah, we were chilling at Chris's place, right? Having a great time and everything, and the cops show up. It was like one in the morning and we'd been getting some noise complaints from some of the neighbors. All right, so we left the party, pieced out of there, and we were on our way to Good Eats. Oh, I'm sorry, one second. Great, um, oh, so me and a few girls, we went, uh, we went to the diner, you know, got like some fries, you know, figured we'd like eat our feelings or like whatever. Um, oh, and my friend Kelly, she totally has a crush on the waiter. So we're leaving Good Eats Diner, right? And we're walking down the street, and we see this guy, this weirdo in a black hoodie, ran right in front of us when we were trying to walk, and it was so weird. We broke up the party pretty quickly, and then we heard the dispatch call. We thought it was some kids being mischievous and pulling a prank or something. And then we got there, and we saw, we saw Kato. So we never actually got to the diner. It was blocked off, and you know, the diner's on Main Street, so, you know. It felt weird. The scene wasn't, the scene wasn't for the faint of heart. Yeah, so like I said, Kato's was definitely open, and there was people going in and out. Um, most of them were wearing costumes, you know, since it's Halloween. I don't really remember the exact costumes, but I know that there was like some cats and animal ears and uh, Jason masks and some Trump masks even. Did you say Jason masks? Yeah. Dispatch indicated that they had gotten an anonymous tip saying the suspect may have been wearing a Jason mask. So yeah, my boyfriend never came to bed that night, so I went out in the living room to see what was going on and he was just watching a bunch of horror films. And that's when I heard the sirens. So I was in traffic that night. Uh, I couldn't really see much. He was trying to get through Main Street or whatever, but my friend Zoe sent me the snap and it was kind of crazy. At first we thought it was just a bunch of kids messing around, you know, Halloween night, pranks and all that. But then we saw it. We turned around and saw it coming from the store. The blood. Everyone was talking about the blood that night. Like, it was fucking crazy. I guess it was kind of scary too. We didn't have much to go on and then we found it. It was a small Swiss Army keychain. I didn't think much of it, but when forensics got there, it was gone. And this town is like super safe. I mean, like no one ever thought something like this would happen here. Especially not to Cato. I mean, <laughs> it's freaking Cato Fox. We all like basically kind of grew up in that shop, you know? I didn't know Cato personally, but he seemed like a pretty cool guy. Yeah, um, I got my mom's last five Mother's Day gifts from there, which like she never seemed to notice, even though they were like all the same. But whatever. Yeah, so Cato's was like really big in the summertime. 
because like his wife would make all these like snacks and stuff and give them out for free. Yeah, sometimes the mailman would accidentally deliver one of my packages over to his place since he's right across the street. And he would always come over personally and give it back to me. Yeah, I remember Kato. Everyone in town remember Kato. His store was so fun. And like, who's gonna run it now? And I don't even know who would think to do something like that. I mean, whoever it was, I mean, they're clearly a psychopath. It's Halloween night, people are in costumes everywhere, going in and out of places. You know, it's Main Street. It goes all through town. Could have been anyone. We're good. We're done? We're good? I can go? Yep. Yeah. You want to sign anything? Sweet. I don't want to sign anything.